next up, we have Sebastiano Botani, who is the CEO of Tanaza. Sebastiano will explain how Tanaza is replicating Android's approach of creating a horizontal market in the wireless networking sector. Please put your hands together and welcome Sebastiano to the stage. Hi everyone, my name is uh, Sebastiano. I'm founder and CEO of Tanaza. When I started this company years ago, um, we basically had a dream and a vision. We wanted to make Wi-Fi democratic. And with democratic, I mean available everywhere for everyone. It should work properly and it should be cost effective, where being affordable and cheap seems to be the most important part. So we envisioned that we could actually get there thanks to software hardware disaggregation. You guys know what software hardware disaggregation is? Okay, it's basically when you use software as something completely separated from hardware because you know that most of the value is in software. So this means there is space to build a software that satisfies all the requirements and run it on any hardware, that being performing or super cost effective. So we embrace this paradigm and we wanted to bring that into the Wi-Fi market. This is my favorite picture of the early days, 2012. We were working in a co-working space, and at that time there was an event, so at 5 o'clock they basically closed everything, and we wanted to go on coding, so we went to this room where there was no heating system. There was some problem there. So here we are with our jackets, going on coding with this passion and this crazy idea in mind. So we started basically acquiring customer thanks to that approach, and over time, we basically collected their feedback. Every time they came to us, we were excited about incorporating their ideas into the product and then go to market again with these new ideas. To the point we got 1,000 customers or more in more than 130 countries. Sounds cool, right? Well, I have to say it's not. Because we had this little problem. We were focusing so much on helping our customers, each of them in a different way, that we lost focus. We were not doing our core thing, software hardware disaggregation. So, in essence, that means that every time you acquire new customers, the cost of that doesn't go down. It actually goes up. So the business model doesn't work. It's not scalable. It doesn't scale. We needed a clear direction. So we decided to go back in history and step back from everything and look for good examples of hardware software disaggregation. And it comes out that that was not such a new idea. It was applied by Microsoft with Windows, the operating system for pretty much any device. You don't care if you use a Lenovo or use a Dell, you just want Windows. And the same story with Android. Android is the de facto operating system for pretty much any hardware device. And one smart thing they did is that they didn't try to satisfy all the needs. They left that for the, for the store, for the Play Store, for the add-ons done by third parties. So we realized, hey, wait a minute, we're basically building the Android for Wi-Fi networks, disaggregation to lower the cost and improve the quality. So we had the courage to go back, redesign everything, and basically create a new platform that leverages an operating system that can be easily installed. And after we did that, three things happened. We got a prize from Wi-Fi Now as best enterprise Wi-Fi solution. We closed our first OEM deal with a large manufacturer in, in California, basically, and also we got funded by the European Commission who gave us 1.6 million equity-free money. Now, what is the lessons learned here? Everybody knows that you should not try to make everybody happy, that focus is the most important thing. What they don't tell you is that in practice, it means to decide that someone is not your customer. You don't want that revenue, you don't care about that revenue if the customer is not the one you really want to have. If you start doing that, you lose focus and you get where we got. I hope this helps everybody here. Thank you guys.